Hello everyone, welcome to basic electronics tutorials. In this video, I am going to take up the first numerical on BJT DC load line analysis. Let me read out the question first. Determine the operating point for a silicon transistor biased by base bias method with beta equal to 100, Rb equal to 500 kilo ohms. RC equal to 2.5 kilo ohms and VCC equal to 30 volt. Also, draw the load line. Coming to the circuit, it should be noted the value of the supply voltage is 30 volt. Resistor across the capacitor is 2.5 kilo ohms. Resistor across the base is 500 kilo ohms. And since it is a silicon based transistor, the voltage across the base to emitter terminals will be 0 0.7 volt. Here, we are asked to find the operating point for the transistor as well as draw the load line for the same. Let us start with the solution part. Let me quickly write down the given values here. The value of the supply voltage VCC is 30 volt. The value of the current gain beta is 100. The value of the resistor at the base is 500 kilo ohms. The value of the resistor at the collector is 2.5 kilo ohms. And since the transistor is made up of silicon, the voltage across the base to emitter junction will be 0 0.7 volt. Right, these are the given values. Let me now find the load line for the given circuit. Please note, I already have discussed about the load line analysis of a BJT in my previous video. I would highly recommend you to watch that video first before you continue with this one because I am going to use the same approach what was used there to find the load line. You can watch that video by clicking on the link shown in the top right corner right now or I will leave the link of the same in the video description below. Coming back to this video, to find the load line, we will apply KVL to the collector to base loop and we will separately evaluate the equation for IC equal to 0 and VCE equal to 0. That will give us the points on the X and Y axis where the load line meets the output characteristic curve. Let me first start by applying KVL to the collector to emitter loop. The equation for this would be VCC minus of VCE minus ICRC equal to 0. Let me call this as equation 1. To find the point on the x axis where the load line meets the axis, Substitute IC equal to 0 into equation 1 and find VCE. Let me rewrite equation 1 once again here. Let me now put IC equal to 0 into this equation. So, it would be VCC minus VCE minus 0 equal to 0. Rearranging this equation, we will obtain the value for VCE equal to VCC and we already know that VCC equal to 30 volt. Therefore, the point on the x-axis where the load line meets the axis is VCE equal to VCC equal to 30 volt. Let us now use the same approach to find the point on the y-axis where the load line meets the axis. To find the point on the y-axis where the load line meets the axis, substitute VCE equal to 0 into equation 1 and find IC. Let me rewrite equation 1 once again here. Let us now put VCE equal to 0 into this equation. Therefore, it would be VCC minus of ICRC equal to 0. Rearranging this equation for IC, we will obtain 
IC equal to VCC divided by RC. We are told the value of VCC is 30 volt and the value of RC is 2.5 kilo ohms. Therefore, the value of IC is equal to 12 milliamperes. That is, the point on the y axis where the load line meets the axis is 12 milliamperes. Right. With that, we have now found the points on the x and y axis where the load line overlaps the characteristic curves. Let us now continue the analysis and find the Q point for the transistor in operation. I start the analysis for finding the Q point by applying KVL to the base 2 emitter loop. So, the resulting equation would be VCC minus of VBE minus IBRB equal to 0. Let me rewrite that here. It is VCC minus of VBE minus IB into RB equal to 0. Let me call this as equation 2. Let us now rearrange equation 2 for IB. It would be IB equals VCC minus of VBE divided by RB. Let me call this as equation 3. So, let me now substitute the values here. VCC is 30 volt, VBE is 0 0.7 volt and RB is 500 kilo ohms. Simplifying this, we will obtain the value of the base current as 58.6 micro amperes. Let us now recall the equation that relates the collector current and the base current in the common emitter configuration, which is IC equal to beta IB. The value of beta is given as 100 and the value of IB we just calculated and it is equal to 58.6 into 10 to the power of minus 6. Simplifying this, we will obtain the answer for the collector current as 5.86 into 10 to the power of minus 3 amperes. Please note, this is the y coordinate of the Q point. To find the x coordinate of the Q point, let us apply KVL to the collector to emitter loop. So, the resulting equation would be VCC minus of VCE minus ICRC equal to 0. Let me rearrange this equation for VCE. Let us now substitute into the RHS of this equation. VCC is given as 30 volt. IC is equal to ICQ and we just calculated this to be 5.86 milliamperes and the value of RC is given as 2.5 kilo ohms. Solving this will give us the value of VCE as 15.35 volts. So, the X coordinate of the Q point is 15.35 volts. Right. We have now found the x coordinate of the q point as well as the y coordinate of the q point. So, the location of the q point is now simply VCEQ, ICQ. Where VCEQ is equal to 15.35 volt and ICQ is equal to 5.86 milli amperes. This is the location of the Q point for the given circuit. Let me now very quickly draw the load line for the given specification here. We have previously calculated that the load line meets the x axis at VCE equal to VCC which is 30 volt. 
in a very similar fashion we have also calculated that the load line meets the y axis at ic equal to 12 milliamperes so if i now connect these two points then this will be the load line for the given socket let us now mark the q point on this load line we already have found the values of the coordinates of the q point as 15.35 volt comma 5.86 milliamperes so this will be the q point right that is the solution for this numerical if you found this video to be informative kindly like and share this video and subscribe to my channel for more tutorials on basic electronics thank you for watching have a good day